Hello, this is Dr. Abrahams again talking about the TrueSculpt ID. Again, who's a candidate? Uh, who's a candidate for TrueSculpt ID? The real truthful answer is probably anybody. Uh, the, diff the only people that are really truly contraindicated would be people with a pacemaker or people with a defibrillator implantable device or other active electronical implanted device because it's using radio frequency to heat the tissue. So outside of those two contraindications, the cool part about uh, this device over cool sculpting and uh, sculpture and other devices on the market, they limited the BMI or body mass index, meaning larger individuals treating them with a device. And why is that? If, if you treat fat and you don't get tightening, the problem is you could have uh, what they call a shark bite look on your abdomen, where you might have a divot uh, from the cool sculpting treatment because it has to, it can only suck the fat in and freeze what's there. So with maybe thinner candidates that have a fat pocket they want to treat, this device can treat them. So somebody that may have just one or two areas, let's say some bra fat in one area, the, the cool sculpting ID can treat them. On the flip side, you could take somebody with a body mass index that would be considered obese or fairly overweight, and they could still use this device. They were not excluded from the trials with Qterra ID. They were excluded from the trials from other devices that currently exist in the market. And why is that? Because of the divoting and the cavitation that could happen because they don't get tightening, um, they didn't want to include those larger individuals in the, in the trials, where CoolSculpt ID included people with larger BMIs. And that means that somebody might have larger weight that just wants to get their pants size down a size or two. This device can be used. It could be used for somebody that's fairly skinny that just has a little bit of bra fat or maybe an inner thigh pocket of fat, or let's just say their flanks have a little bit of love handles, but everywhere else they're doing fine. Um, this device doesn't require suction to get the fat up in there to treat it. We can actually treat the fat pad itself. We don't have to, um, uh, you know, use alternate treatments to try to get there. We also don't have the, the paradoxical fat hyperplasia that's been shown with cool sculpting under certain individuals uh, that's never been reported with Qterra's uh, TrueSculpt ID. Uh, again, the biggest advantage that is we could treat fairly almost everybody from uh, lower BMIs, which might have just little pockets of fat, all the way up to people with very high BMIs that maybe are looking just realistically getting a reduction in pant size, or, or maybe just want to frankly just look better about themselves and get rid of those areas that are really troublesome for them.